Hi, I had to show you this one because Regal is the best service. I took a picture of the problem that I had with the current sense resistors that were uh, broken and burnt. So the guy from uh, the support with the name uh, Christian Koenig from Germany, Regal Germany, he said, okay, I will take from a broken unit the resistor that you need and I will send you the resistor and he did send me two resistors instead of the current sense resistors that were burnt after I sent him a picture so I have to admit thank you Regal I appreciate your perfect support and I can't ask for anything better than your service and by the way he sent me this letter free of charge I want to send him payment for the letter and he said it's okay you don't need to send anything so again thank you Christian Koenig thank you very much and he also sent me how to do the calibration after uh, replacing these resistors so thank you and I will do it so this time I was a little lazy to take everything apart so I just removed the top and I could easily with a, a solder, iron solder remove these two resistors out yes they both doesn't look very well now I will replace with the new one and then basically just the calibration and I'm done so let's maybe do this live the soldering of the new one okay I'm trying very gently to remove this from the letter oh this resistor is aha uh -huh in the middle it has something that is bent in from the middle this is what I saw probably one of the resistors was okay but never mind now I will do the soldering just heating everything up here One side okay, now the other side. Yes, it looks pretty well and in place. Now I will do the same for the second one. Maybe I will add a little, a little more solder paste on this side. Not sure I need it, but we're on the safe side because the current here is pretty high. Not very high, actually, 3 amps is the maximum. And now we take the second resistor out gently. Okay, thank you again, Rigo. I really appreciate it. It's not straightforward to do such a thing without any fee and helping someone like me to fix it. By the way, I asked for this part because I found on the net some parts, but the size was different. I can show you, by the way. I bought actually some other stuff, resistor, but the size is different. And all it is too small or too big, so 
it wasn't good enough. I will show you that the, the maybe the ones that I found you can see the size is much bigger than the size here. So basically I can fit it but ah, it's not original or I found a much smaller size which is also a little problematic I think. Now I will assemble everything back and I will try to do the calibration and that's all okay so since the calibration is not easy I want to save you some time and show you how to calibrate the instrument so it goes like this you turn it on and then what you want to do is go to the utility and then the second window here and then test cal and then manual cal the password is 2012 and you can change it and then for example you want to calibrate a uh, channel number one so channel number one is now on and then you go to call item for example the VDAC is already calibrated but I will show you how after you choose VDAC you go to the second window you press the arrow here and then you go you, you are on ID number one when you are on ID number one you press measure value and then you see the number here 0 0.3 now I don't see anything in the flow because I'm not on channel 1 so let's change it to channel 1 it should be calibrated now so the value should be uh, ah, it is not correct I don't know why it is changed so now we will sh I will show you how to do it so we, you see the number here uh, 0 uh, uh, 0 66 volt okay so you need to insert this value here so you are going with the hours and then you can change the number here so 0 0.6 and then 6 again and then you press the input value input value and then you go with the knob to the second line and then again measure value you get the numbers that you see here on the fluke so it should be a a 0 0.292 so I'm going to change it here with the arrows so I'm pressing 2 and then 9 and then 2 input value going to the third one with the knob measure again 1.057 so I'm changing just what need to be changed 57 5 and then 7 and then input value next value measure value 1.75 so I'm going to change it so 1 7 5 input value and then next measure should be 2949 so changing it to 2 nine four nine input value and then the last one so should be three point three six so three point three six after you do this you press again input value and then you go to the second window and you press save now it should be saved 